And I want to get these guys out of their background. So first of all, what I'm going to do is duplicate this layer. So I'm just going to pull it down to this button right here, which is duplicate layer. Make the one underneath not visible. Because I do want to save the original, but I want to get this picture outside of its background. So first thing I'm going to do though is uh, expand this out, control T, shift, hold that down. I want to get them pretty much as big as the entire image. So that will pretty much work for now. And apply that. <clears throat> Okay, so they are on a background that is kind of a pain in the ass, <laughs> to be totally honest, because it's uh, all neutral colors and dark colors. So you've got grays and you've got black, which is colors that are prevalent in their actual photos. When you want to extract someone from a background, it's best if... The background is a flat color for one thing. It doesn't have all these gradients and different shades. And also if it's a color that's not on the actual people, on their clothes or anything like that. <clears throat> that's why so many people shoot in front of green screens when they want to take someone out of a photo. So this is pretty much like worst case scenario of getting someone out of a background because it's all neutral colors, all darks, all blacks. And there's not really an easy way to do this. I wish there was. If it was all one shade here, I'd just do select color range and do something fun like that. Instead, I'm going to have to go old school. And, well, we'll do the quick selection tool. Could do the magic wand. First, though, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and at least get a little bit close. Just using my lasso tool right now. Because there's no point in trying to get rid of a bunch of shit that I don't need to. You know? So, when you want to go ahead and, uh, hey, that looks like a mushroom. When you, uh, mushroom head, when you want to add to a selection, which I really didn't want to do, but I did, you just hit your shift key and you can actually add to it. Whee! Now, when you see that you did something that was totally retarded like that, you can hit Control Z and undo it. That doesn't just uh, apply to the lasso tool, that's to anything. Anytime you fuck up in Photoshop, just hit Control Z and it undoes the last thing. <clears throat> now, if you want to subtract from your lasso, from your selection, hit Alt, and you'll see on your lasso, uh, it's got a little minus sign next to it now. And there you go. I'm just going to get rid of some of that. Don't want to get rid of his head, though, so. Right. It's good times. <clears throat> okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just add this little guy in. And I fucked that part up right there. So I'm just gonna add to that. And there you go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit select inverse because right now that would cut them out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit cut. But after I hit inverse, it will actually get rid of a lot of that background. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, quick selection tool. And spacing, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, maybe to 15%. Choose a larger brush size. Let's try 60. We're gonna just try to grab this silver stuff that we don't really like. Oh, we got him, which we don't want. That's the problem with this background is kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna do it in sections.
Okay. Uh, for some reason, it switched to the negative, which is subtract from selection. If it does that, just switch it to add to selection. And again, it went way too far. Okay, this is pretty easy. Turn the first side a little bit too far. Okay. Okay, let's turn it down further. Let's see, honey. Man. Okay, so you're going to have to kind of go back and forth, switch between the plus and the minus as needed to get rid of this background and just go over it without, you know, obviously selecting anyone's head or their arm because you don't really want the headless band. So we're just going to go in and try to get that as good as possible. All right, for our immediate purposes, that's going to have to be good enough for the moment. That's a good starting point. Now, we're not just going to cut this out, so that's a nice thing, even if I do accidentally cut off someone's ear or, you know, what have you. I can still go back and fix it because we're going to work non-destructively. And how are we going to do that, you ask? We're going to do it by using layer masks, which is a, a genius tool of Photoshop and one that I use very often. And it basically hides what you want to hide and shows what you want to show without destroying the layer. So in other words, this background that we have here is still gonna be back here. We're just gonna hide it. So first thing you want to do is invert your selection because we selected exactly the opposite of what we want to hide. Select inverse. Then you go down to your layers palette and this button right here is your layer mask. And you click that and voila, everything we selected is hidden. Now, obviously it's not a perfect cut. We're gonna have to go in and fix that real quick. So you have two choices on your layer now. You've got your layer where you can make actual changes to your layer permanently. And you've got your layer mask, which is non-destructive editing. So we're going to go into there, switch this to black, black hides and white shows. And we want to hide some of this bullshit here. We definitely don't want to use that. So first off, make sure you've got your brushes set to, let's say, basic brushes. And, you know, choose a diameter, maybe have your, the hardness set at about 60. And we're going to go ahead and zoom right in. And we're on our layer mask. And I'm going to go ahead and just fix that real quick. detailed here or you can just get the basic idea your call oh, and if you get too close you can just uh, reverse it to white and you can bring back what you just erased so you know for the purposes of this we're not getting trying to get a perfect perfect cut so I'm gonna go for kind of an exaggerated effect so it's not super important that it's perfect. 